Hey everyone, Lenny Bonds here from Purposely Pixel. And today, I'm here to talk about my Pixel 7 Pro. Now I had this device since October and my main SIM is still in it. And there's a reason why. So let's get into it. I know there are a lot of new phones on the market. But I've been very happy with my Pixel 7 Pro. That's not to knock the other phones. I'm just very happy with the Pixel 7 Pro and I'm going to share my reasons why. And I would love for you to comment below to let me know if you had a Pixel 7 Pro or if you haven't had one and what's the reasons for not getting one or trying one and what's the reasons as to why you gave it up. But I'll give you my reasons why I'm sticking with the Pixel 7 Pro. First, the camera. The camera on the Pixel 7 Pro has been absolutely amazing. It's one of the best cameras on the market. I'm always impressed on how the pictures come out in any condition. So whether it's night mode, macro, wide angle, it performs very well. It's top three, if not top, depending on what situation you're talking about. Still photography, I think it's the king, still the king. Even with the, even with the one inch sensors, I still say the Pixel 7 Pro is still the king of still photography. And I wouldn't crap on the video either. It's not the best in its class, but it definitely performs very well. Another reason why I stick with the Pixel 7 Pro is the software. The software is great. It's smooth, it's clean, it's simple. Android 13 has been working excellent on this device. I've been almost bugless. I mean, I'm running Android 14 now, but Android 13 has been absolutely excellent for me. Big difference from Android 12 and the Pixel 6 Pro. The Pixel 7 Pro has been performing the way a flagship should perform. The other thing is performance. The performance on the Pixel 7 Pro is top notch. Now I know there's a lot of talk about the Tensor chip and I won't dispute some of the things that people say, but the Tensor chip in terms of actual performance, the Tensor chip 2 on the Pixel 7 Pro has been excellent. Anything I throw at it from gaming, um, social media, picture taking, video editing, it's worked like a charm. There's absolutely nothing wrong in terms of performance. Now. Can it have better battery optimization? 100%. There's other phones in the same class that have the same battery capacity, which lasts a lot longer, and they need to work on that, as well as thermal cooling. But the Pixel devices seem to heat up a lot faster than other devices. So definitely, it's not perfect, but the Tensor chip in terms of performance has been doing fine, definitely. Battery life. I just talked about that with the tension chip. The battery is good. It can last me a full day. But if I'm going to extend and maybe go into um, the later hours of the night, I would definitely need to recharge this phone. But on the overall, during my whole course of my work day and everything, the battery has done me well. Could it improve? Yes, but the battery has done well. And you make adjustments with devices that you have. I know we all do. And the design, I love the Pixel phone. I love the camera bar. I prefer the brush metal that's on the Pixel 7, but the chrome looks nice, it looks elegant. The sides are nice. Um, the snow color on this Pixel 7 Pro is just beautiful. I really do like the performance of the device. I really do like the device. And I'm gonna stick with it until the Pixel 8 Pro comes out and I'm gonna see what that offers. Hopefully it addresses some of the issues that we have with the overheating and the battery performance. But other than that, I've been extremely happy. Like I said, the software is buttery smooth. Um, it's the Pixel software and that's what, you know, really stands out for me plus all the other features that you get with the Pixel devices from the hold for me, direct my call, now playing, etc. 
These are the added little features that make the Pixel device, in my opinion, special. Like there are a lot of great phones out there, but I'm really happy with my Pixel 7 Pro. And I don't see myself upgrading until the Pixel 8 Pro comes out. So guys, drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the Pixel 7 Pro, other devices that you use, what you like better, what you don't like better. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to like, share, and comment. Lenny Bond, signing off from Purposely Pixel.